welcome guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with your tarot read. Uh, we are going to use the letters and the numbers today. They kind of pulled to me. Uh, we'll do, oh, I'm getting told letters. So we'll do letters first and we'll see what pops out. So if any of these uh, letters resonate with you, it might mean that this read is going to have a more personal meaning for you. That one wants to pop out too. I'll set those guys aside for a moment. So we had U and N were the first ones that popped out. We also have S, F, P, R, L, and G. So you're going to know if those are initials for a name, for a place. Uh, whatever stands out to you, whatever resonates with you. Uh, we have the month of October, the number 25, the number 26. And we'll see what else pops out. The number six. I keep in mind, guys, these might be um, not just dates, but they could be phone numbers or it could be an address too. However it resonates with you, that's what it's supposed to mean. We do have the month of November as well. Uh, 17, 15, and I do need a couple more. Ooh, that one didn't want to come with the bunch. 18, and a couple more popped out. So we had 23 and one. I'll plunk that there. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and get going with your read. Uh, we'll see what the Oracle cards have to say and then clarify with the tarot. Interesting, we got the Storms card. Storms speak of cleansing, uh, but most of the time, I mean, let's face it, they're not fun. They're not fun. It usually brings some chaos to our lives. It usually brings some change. Uh, it usually means that we're sort of having to release something. I do have Lake, which represents depth. Be like somebody's in the thick of it right now. Somebody's in the thick of this change. They're in the thick of the storm, uh, trying to process the emotions that go along with it. I do feel um, that sense of loss, of disappointment, of grief. Uh, so there is something that you're having to let go of. Uh, it's something that you didn't really want to let go of either. Interesting. Magnetism and oceans. Okay. So whatever this, this cleansing is, this changes, this storm that's happening for you, that's taking place in your life. Um, this is what I'm getting from tarot. I'm getting from tarot that's staying like this lake in this depth and sort of not knowing how to look forward, um, really feeling like you're stuck in these emotions will keep you from moving forward. That magnetism in oceans is about embracing change embracing change, the energy that you're sending out into the universe and having that attract the similar things back, kind of like karma. So as you feel like you're ready to get out there, you're wanting some sort of change, you're wanting something different, as you actively start making choices in that direction, you will find that positive opportunities come to you. But I see that this is going to be, this is going to be up to you. And I see that this is going to have to do with a perspective. And the way that you're looking at things. Because right now I see with this, this storms and this lake. It's what you're seeing and what you're feeling right now is mostly negative. You're feeling all the negative emotions that go along with change. And they are there. It's not like we can just turn them off and pretend they don't exist. They are there and they are things that you have to allow yourself to feel and process. But at some point you're going to have to, you know, shut that down and start looking forward. Release it. Let it go, look to the future, embrace whatever change is happening, and learn to move with it. Home, earth, interesting. I'm going to grab a few more before I tackle the earth card in rain. Uh, this is the seed of a new beginning for you. A new chapter, a chapter of... I do believe, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Empress card in your read. This is about personal growth. This is about healing. This is about evolution. There will be some life lessons that you do learn within this, this cleansing, within this change that's taking place in your life. But it happens as you embrace it and as you start looking at things in a new way. That's where a lot of that change is going to come from. Pressure. Transformation. Yeah, it was like this transformation... This way of thinking, this way of being. I do believe self-confidence and self-empowerment is going to come into play here because I, I'm feeling the Empress energy. It's like for you to be able to get to that, 
you had to have this pressure. You had to have this change. You had to experience this situation. There are some very serious life lessons uh, that are meant to be learned in everything that you're going through that will have a positive impact on your life if you choose to allow that, if you choose that perspective, if you choose to look at it this way, this can, I feel like this can usher in a very awesome new chapter for you. But I do feel like we're gonna be talking a lot about choice in this read too. Oh, we have gravity and beginnings from East. Gravity. This is about staying grounded. It is about staying grounded. It's about not being overwhelmed by your emotions like this lake, this depth card. I do see depression in this card. I see anxiety. I see worry. Like I said, I feel those, those negative emotions that come with a big change or a big loss or outside pressures sort of... Uh, making change for us in our life change that maybe we wouldn't otherwise have chosen for ourselves it does bring a lot of stresses it brings a lot of negativity but remember to not allow yourself to get overwhelmed by the negativity allow yourself to look at the positive side of things what is there to learn from this with this piece of things gone what has it made space for and maybe it's an honest look at what it is that you've lost because there may be pieces of that if you're willing to take a really honest look at it that you may realize we're not actually working for you. It might give you that new perspective and you might see that maybe this is the opportunity for something better to come forward. I need a tarot deck for your read. A tarot deck. This is the one that's popping out to me. So this is the one that we're gonna use for your read. Alrighty, tarot. So please clarify these oracle cards for me. There we go. Mm, the Nine of Cups. I'm going to grab a couple more because I'm getting a bit of a vibe with that one. The Queen of Cups. I will tell you this too. I don't know if this is you or I don't know if this is somebody around you. And the Nine of Cups, I do see overindulgence. A lot of times Nine of Cups speaks to wish fulfillment. That's not what I'm getting from this card. I'm getting drinking. I'm getting drinking like excessive drinking. So I don't know if this was part of what you had to step away from. Or maybe some of this is part of how you're sort of coping with some of the emotions. I do feel, like I said, I, I could feel a warning within some of these cards about letting yourself process the emotions, but then not staying in that state. You know, allowing yourself to start to release things and look forward and move on. Uh, not hanging on to this kind of thing, the Queen of Cups. Because there is a lot of emotional stuff that you're dealing with right now. A lot of heavy emotions. Three of Cups. I feel like you're isolating yourself too. Uh, like not letting friends or family sort of within your circle. So I feel that Seven of Wands pushing people away, pushing people away. It's like you're stuck in the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, I'll show you the figure there on that card. So she's bound, she's blindfolded, she's surrounded by swords. I've said it before. The binds that hold her are loose and she can undo them herself, which means she can take the blindfold off and the swords are spaced far enough apart that she could step through them. This is like, this is like a trap of the mind. This is like a way of thinking. This is like a way of feeling and choosing to sort of stay within that. The six of swords tells me it's time to start cutting ties and move on. Like this grieving period, it is important, but it can't last forever and it needs to start to come to an end now that's what i keep saying this is time to start releasing this is time to start that cleansing process that cleansing piece of the storm and start to release things and start to move on uh, you're stronger than you realize i see that in the strength card you have a lot of inner strength and i know you don't always feel it and especially through this process i can feel someone saying like i just don't feel strong enough to get through it's just really overwhelming the emotions are really overwhelming you are absolutely stronger than you realize you do have empress energy i felt that as soon as i pulled this earth card that represents home and coming home to yourself and being comfortable in your own skin she is like the empress you have empress energy you have strong healing personal growth and evolution energy within you you can come out the other side of this you can find positivity on the other side of this not just positivity you can find a better chapter than what you had before you have the strength in you and that's why I know that a lot of this has to do with choice because you are more than capable of doing this you are a very strong person extremely strong extremely intelligent extremely capable but it's up to you to choose to believe in that and believe in yourself and believe in a new beginning and grab some more cards. Ooh, those guys came out sideways. 
So I'm gonna pull these two, but I wanna see the ones that came out sideways first. Yeah, Eight of Cups and Seven of Swords. So the Eight of Cups, that is that moving on and moving forward. When cards come out sideways, it means they don't know which way they wanna go. Chances are somebody hasn't made up their mind yet. And it's still sort of up in the air, the Seven of Swords. Hmm. The Seven of Swords tends to be sneaky energy, but he can also speak of situations that are unfair. Somebody catching the short end of the stick. Um, I keep getting like robbing yourself, robbing yourself of a future by not moving on, keeping yourself stuck in, in like this lake card in the depth in the sadness karma. That's interesting because I did mention that right at the beginning of the read with the magnetism card and that oceans card and that that bravely embracing the future and the energy that we sh we send out there with the magnetism is what we get back. So staying in the grieving mode, it keeps us stuck like this eight of swords. It just keeps us trapped in that grieving, trapped in that grieving. And it just goes round and round and round. And we can't seem to emotionally or mentally break free of it. But once you're able to choose that for yourself and say, I'm, I'm not going to live the rest of my life feeling this way. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to move on. I deserve to be better. And you truly believe it. And you truly start making choices that action that and moving you in that direction. You will attract positivity back to you. You will attract opportunity. You'll attract happiness. You have to be looking for it though and actively working towards it. The four of swords. It's time to start healing. I, even in the Knight of Wands, it's time to start healing. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's time to start cutting ties and start releasing this grieving period and moving on to the cleansing period. We're releasing now, releasing and looking towards the future. Even the start card, it's about hope. It's about clarity. It's about finding focus, finding a new direction, staying grounded getting your feet back under you. Cause right now I don't feel like that's a thing. I feel like we're stuck in that lake. We're stuck in that depth. We're stuck in the eight of swords, but it's time to get above our emotions. It's time to get above our emotions, releasing it. That is huge page of swords. I will tell you this too. Um, if whatever the catalyst was here for this change, if it did involve another person, if it did involve another energy, I do feel that there would most likely be a lot of unanswered questions from your end, a lot of um, unanswered emotions and things you would want to say to them, things you would want to hear from them. Um, I, you might even come to tarot to find out what they're doing. I do see the page of swords. It is seeking information. Um, but I am going to tell you this page of swords is part of the eight of swords. It's part of the lake. It's part of the depth. It's part of what keeps you stuck seeking the energy of this other person, seeking those those answers, seeking some sort of a connection. If this is the piece of things that has come to an end, it's time to release it. It's time to release it. Sometimes we never get to hear from another person what we need to hear and we have to find that closure within ourselves. We have to find a way to just accept that that piece of things is over and there's some things that they're never going to be able to give us and accept that, okay, we all come into each other's lives for a reason, but it's not always forever. It's not always to stay forever. Sometimes we just teach each other lessons. Sometimes it's our job to teach somebody else a lesson, sometimes vice versa, and sometimes it's both ways too. But it's up to us to learn the lessons. And this is part of being an empress and part of that empress energy and being aware and ascended enough to take a good, honest look at yourself, at your situation, say, okay, is there something I need to change here? Is there something I can learn from this situation so that I can move forward and live a better life? Because I see a lot of that leaving the past behind. New path forward, the Ace of Cups, it is a bright new path forward. It is a bright new beginning. It's a new cycle of abundance, it's happiness. Uh, but this, this page of swords, this sort of seeking about the past, staying in lake, staying in eight of swords, it keeps this Ace of Cups from coming your way, right? Because of magnetism, we're attracting the energy that we're putting out there, the moon card. I'm gonna grab a couple more here. Oh, the chariot and the fool. Yeah, that is what it's gonna take for you to move forward. It's going to take a new perspective. It's gonna take a shift of the way that you're thinking of things. Because right now I feel like we're we're thinking about the situation, we're thinking about the situation that that you're in, that you went through, and possibilities for the future. I think it's all in sort of a negative mindset. It's all looking through it all through a filter of grief. 
That's what's been going on, that grief, that loss. So it's really hard to see optimism and an opportunity in the future. And it's time to shift that mindset. And I, like I said, I felt that right in the beginning with the Oracle cards that we were going to be talking about that today. The tower, all the towers happen for a reason. Everything in our lives happen for a reason. The good, the bad, the ugly. I feel like especially the ugly, that's usually where we learn our most valuable lessons. So there is something from this situation. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is yet. Maybe Terrell will reveal it before the end of the read. But there is something in this situation that you need to learn. There is something about this. I'm telling you, this lesson might be how resilient you are. It might be how strong you are. It might be recognizing your own personal strength and that nothing and no one is going to break you. And you can heal from things and you can move forward and not just forward on the same level, but you can move up. You can climb. You can achieve. You can find success. The King of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you too, if this is dealing with someone from your past, if this is dealing like a person and energy, a romantic relationship, they were not the only fish in the sea. They are still not the only fish in the sea. If this is a part of your life that you would like to have, if you would like to have romance in your life, if you would like to have that kind of a romantic partnership connection, you can have that. That was not the only human being on the planet who you were allowed to have it with and it didn't work out. And now you're screwed for the rest of your life. That's crap. That is crap. Uh, there is someone else out there for you when you're ready. When you're ready to step into it, if you're still wanting it, you will find somebody. This was not the one and only chance that you will ever get in life to have this piece of your life. And I don't know if that's a part of this, this lake and this grieving and this depression is like, I really thought they were the one. I thought that's who I was going to spend my life with. I invested everything in that person. It didn't work out. Now I'll never get love again. Like that's not true. That is absolutely not true. I keep getting that. I got the King of Pentacles sitting in between the tower and the death card. He was not the only fish in the sea. He was not. His chapter came to an end. That piece of things came to an end. But that doesn't mean that that's, that part of your life will never exist. It's just it won't exist with this person. But that means that there's an opportunity to meet somebody who suits you even better than who this person was. Because nobody's perfect. Let's face it, nobody is perfect. We all have our flaws. We all have our quirks. We all have our hangups. We all have our baggage. All of that. And this King of Pentacles was no different. Okay? So there was something about this person that did not fit in your life. If you can identify was, what that was, it will not just help you to see it in other people so you avoid it in the future. But to also recognize what really counts for you and what you won't settle for in the future and what's really important in a partner and a partner possessing. And it will help you to send those vibes in, out into the universe like magnetism says and attract that type of person back in because that person exists for you. And like I said, when you're healed, when you feel ready, you will find what you're looking for. I'm going to grab a few more here. Ten of swords. Even in this to the Ten of Swords, I feel pulled back to the page. Uh, you still think a lot. You're still feeling like energetically tied or attached to this person because there's things that are not resolved there. You don't have answers that you're wanting or you don't have an apology that you're wanting. There's something there that's still connecting you. It's still holding you back. They're not going to reach out and give it to you. I feel a lot of finality with that King of Pentacles. I feel like even if you were like a page of pentacles, even if you reached out and you made an offering to try and talk, to try and receive something, it's, it's not going to get received. Like you're not going to get what you're looking for out of that person. There's a lot of finality there. There's a lot of focus in the way that they feel and the way that they think. And I don't see compromise. I don't see healing within that partnership. I don't see that becoming a new chapter or taking on a new dynamic. I see that piece of things is done. Ten of swords, tower, death, ending, ending, ending. That piece of things has come to an end. But there's no need to let it stop you on your journey. Just because, like I said, not the only fish in the sea. Just because that has come to an end does not mean that you will not find somebody. Hmm, six of cups, queen of pentacles. That six of cups is 
feeling stuck in the past. It is feeling stuck in the past. I don't know if you've reached out to this person already. Like I said, that is, that is the past. That piece of things is over by staying within that, staying in, in the grief, staying in trying to reach out to that. You're stopping yourself from moving forward. There's something about this person. I don't know what it is. Tarot's not saying what it is. You probably know what it is if you, if you really stop to take an honest think about it. But the universe sure as shit knows what it is. And the universe knows that this person is not meant to be in your life forever. That you have a better connection out there waiting for you. This person is not that forever connection. They are not. And that's why everything came about the way it did. And that's why there isn't going to be that reconnect there. That's why you're getting this, this sort of ending tower, death. Ten of Swords, everything's ending, ending, ending. You're getting that finality. This is not where you're supposed to go back to. You're not supposed to stay in that piece of things. You are supposed to evolve into this Empress energy. You're supposed to have this coming home to yourself, except this cleansing. Get your feet back under you. Realize your own personal strength and how strong you are. Change your outlook on things. And that's what's going to give you your new beginning. That's the destined path you're supposed to take. And it's what's going to take you to something better. But it's up to you to do the work. It is up to you to do the work, the Three of Swords. I'll tell you too, I got that Three of Swords sitting next to the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, it is our abundant harvest. And to you, if this is that romantic connection that you were hoping for that didn't work out with this King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles tells me it still exists for you, but staying in this, this state of heartbreak, perpetual Three of Swords, perpetual heartbreak, will stop you from finding that abundant harvest. It will stop you from becoming, and there it is, the Nine of Pentacles. She is the Minor Arcana version of the Empress. I knew we were going to get more Empress energy coming forward. This is who you're destined to be. And that Empress energy, that healing, evolution, personal growth, self-empowerment, self-confidence, all of those wonderful things, when we send those vibes out into the universe and we believe that about ourselves, people are attracted to that. So yeah, you might get a few of the duds who get attracted to that too, but the good ones get attracted in. That person always gets attention. The Empress energy always gets looked at, always gets attention here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you too, ooh, you're going to get tested in the future. You will get tested in the future. I have the King of Swords sitting here who came out next to the Three of Swords. This is the energy that wants to come forward. This is somebody uh, who values truth and loyalty and honesty. Uh, someone who's very solid and you can count on. Somebody who's in it for the long haul. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. That one's a good catch. This one will get blocked out by your heartbreak though. If you stay like this, you're not inviting anything new in. So this guy can't show up until there's space made for him. Uh, I do have this King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords too. I tell you, this may speak to your person from the past, trying to come back as soon as you start something new. Uh, if they do, this person is only trying to stall your journey and plunge you right back into that lake. Keep you stuck in the lake. Keep you stuck in the Eight of Swords. Keep you stuck so that you come chasing them. Because they like it. They like you chasing them. They like the being able to hold you off, block you off. Um tell you no, 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 and have you keep coming back. It feeds their ego. They're not going to want to see you move on, move forward, come into this beautiful empress energy and realize that you don't need that crap and you deserve better than that. And you're moving on with your life. They don't necessarily want to see that. So beware of any dealings with this person in the future because their motives are not in your favor. Their motives are hidden. Their motives are selfish and their motives lie within their ego. The five of swords, they are up to no good. They are up to deceit. They are jealous. They will be jealous when you move on and move forward. That's the truth. The ace of swords, that is the truth. They do not want you to start fresh. They don't want you to find your personal truth. They don't want you to find happiness in a new beginning. So you may go through a huge period of time where you step away from them and then you don't hear from them. And then you take up with somebody new and then all of a sudden they show up again. I, like I said, everything happens for a reason. This storms is not just a crazy storm to bring chaos to your life. It is to cleanse your life of something that doesn't belong there. And it is that King of Pentacles, King of Wands energy. It was that person from your past. They were in some way, shape or form, not a positive force in your life and holding you back from finding the type of connection 
that you're looking for. And even after this, I see games. I see games, I see them trying to keep you stuck. I see they want you to obsess over them. They want you to keep reaching out. They wanna dangle like that little carrot and keep you stuck. They will not give you your 10 of pentacles. They will not give you your legacy, uh, your personal wealth, your family, your abundance in the home life. They won't give you any of that. They will not. Uh, five of pentacles, but they were not the only fish in the sea. You are absolutely resilient. Like the flower in the corner, you're resilient. You will find love when you're ready to find love. But do not keep yourself trapped in this lake, trapped in this eight of swords, trapped in the past for this person. It's time to move forward from the grief period to the cleansing period. And then really start to heal your heart and allow yourself to move forward. Alrighty guys, that's your read.